Hello, David Harper of Bionic Turtle and a brief tutorial on how to calculate a forward rate given a series of spot rates. This is a popular question on financial exams. And just first the notation on the forward rate to illustrate, we're going to I'm going to show you how to calculate a six month forward rate starting in eighteen months. And we could show that a few different ways, but typically we could do it this first way here if where each period is six months you'll recognize that is common in bond pricing where we assume one period equals six months so what this says is we want the one period rate starting three periods forward where each period is six months so six month rate starting in eighteen months we could also assume annualized numbers or annualized units and so we have here 0.5 of a year or six months starting in one and a half years which of course is 18 months so in either case in all cases we have the length of the rate that's a forward rate starting in this number of periods forward and I'll shrink that down and put it here so I can show you the numerical example and all I've done is imagined some spot rates at certain maturities half a year one year here's one and a half years here's two years I'm assuming uh, bonds are priced at par but we don't need that for this exercise all I really need to do is assume something about the spot rates and so I'm using simple numbers maybe it's too steep to be realistic but never mind that at one and a half years I'm assuming the spot rate is five percent and I'm assuming at two years the spot rate is six percent so what we're solving for if you could look down here at this graphic all we're really solving for is this orange arrow where the green arrow is the two-year spot rate and so you can see it extends the full length of two years we know that we know the one and a half year spot rate is five percent in blue what we want is this six month forward rate that doesn't start today but starts in 18 months and the idea here is really uh, very simple it's really a no arbitrage kind of concept if we start out here today imagine at time zero we have two different options for investing and they ought to be equal in the one case we can invest at the two year spot rate we can earn six percent over the two years and then we'll end up with the final return or value out here well the other option is we can invest at one and a half years for five percent and then roll that over into the forward because it's a forward rate we can get that deal today at time zero so that second option is to invest at the one and a half roll over into the six month forward and in that case we're, we're in both cases we're out two years and as we sit at time zero today they ought to produce the same result. So it's that equality that allows us to solve for an equation with one unknown. So and in fact if we come down here because we're using semi-annual compounding well, all we really have here is this is the scenario where we hold, where we invest at the spot rate for two years. So we've got one plus the two year spot rate we need to divide by two because we are using semi-annual compounding and then we are uh, comp raising it to the two times two power of four power so on this side is the invest at the two-year spot rate and it ought to equal investing at the one and a half year spot rate so it's really the same formula we're just the rate is one and a half years and instead of compounding over four periods we're compounding over three periods and then we multiply because that's the rollover into the one year forward rate I'm sorry the six month forward rate starting in 18 months and then here just to rearrange these terms and we come down here and the fractions get a little bit uh, clunky but nevertheless we can see the uh, w the six month forward rate here on the left gets expressed as this function here in this case one plus the two-year spot rate chop it in half raised to the fourth power divided by 
one plus the one and a half year spot rate, chop it in half, raise it only to the third power, that fraction gets us, in this case, the forward rate, which turns out to be uh, four and a half percent, about four and a half percent. But again, that's on a six month period basis, so we can convert that to a bond equivalent basis by doubling it, and that for, in which case the forward rate really ends up being nine percent. So if we go up here, here's this cell, nine percent, is the implementation of that formula. So it's it's basically performing that math on the five and six percent. It's telling me that the forward rate needs to be nine percent higher than you might expect, but nine percent is the forward that's going to be required here at the six months in order to really really bring up or or overcompensate for that five percent that's lower than the six percent. And to check it. We can we can just check the return on a cumulative basis. Here's the rollover scenario where we say I'm taking the one and a half year spot rate, multiplying by that six month forward, and in this case that means over the two periods, so this is cumulative, I have a twelve point five five percent return compared to, and so again that's just this bottom scenario here, compared to the simpler calculation which is simply what if I just for all four periods invested at the six percent spot rate. So it's just one plus half of that six percent, so it's really 1.03 raised to the fourth power compounded over two times two periods per year. And notice I also get twelve and a half 12.55% cumulative. So this tells me that in fact if I plug into the orange arrow here, so to speak, the 9% rounded, then in the in both cases I get cumulatively about 12.55% if I hold, if I invest at 6% over 2 years compared to if I invest for 18 months at 5% and then roll over into the six month forward at fully 9%. In both cases I end up cumulatively at 12.5% rounded. And so that's the idea with deducing the forward rate given that we have the series of spot rates or in this case we just needed the two spot rates. This is David Harper the Bionic Turtle. Thanks for your time.